So these are all the gifts from my friend Michal who's living in Slovakia right now. Michal, if you're watching this, really thank you so much. I mean, you're the man. <laughs> Appreciate all the stuff that you left here and packed nicely. I mean, I really wish that you were still here in this country so we could have so much fun together. You know, that would be really amazing, but there's my w W210, alright. Um, and today I'll be trying to start it up. Apparently the battery is dead, I, even though I disconnected the battery, uh, but there she is. really missed this car, and fortunately the headlights need to be uh, polished again and restored. I've done it like two years ago, they looked really amazing, now they're not looking the best again, they have to be restored. Mm couple tires need some air um, uh, such an amazing car I really missed this thing uh, what a beauty it's pretty crazy so my friend, if you guys remember the videos with the W116, brown W116, that was my friend's car. And we were fixing this, that car actually in Chicago streets. We were actually pulling the head off on it and doing a bunch of other work. Um, and he was actually the one who picked that car up from California, drove it all the way to Illinois. It's pretty amazing. And he drove that car to Florida as well and back to Chicago. I mean, it was just pretty awesome. But uh, I'm talking about the W116. So anyway, my friend, he had to leave the country. He had to go back to uh, Slovakia. So he left all this stuff for me. I mean, a lot of car parts and tools and everything. So, Michal, really, thank you so much for everything. I mean, you're, you're awesome. Seriously. I appreciate everything. Beautiful car, beautiful interior. That battery. Yeah, that battery again. So, look at this beautiful interior, this wood trim. It's so nice. I always love this. All these and everything. And the car will actually come with the uh, owner's manual and stuff like that. So, that's pretty amazing. Has heated seats and all that stuff. And, According to physics, rubber is a good insulator, so I'm using this glove uh, for the positive post of the battery, even though I mean it's going to be covered by this 
reset cushion. Uh, it's not really gonna, it's the seat cushion is not really grounded, so it's not gonna cause any issues. So, anyways, battery's all good. Let's try to start this baby up. So this battery is more than six years old. Um, this battery was in this car since I bought it in 2015. Um, and um, ever since then I used to do maintenance on it. I used to open those cells and check the acid levels and I used to adjust the levels by adding uh, distilled water. So this battery uh, has lasted a really long time. It's amazing. Amazing feature of Mercedes Benz. Let's try to start this baby up again. Let's see. You guys are ready? Let's try it. Baby is alive. Baby is running. Okay. Now I have to turn the wheel all the way to the left and right to reset the steering angle, angle sensor. I love the steering wheel so much. Wow. It's amazing. There you go. The lights are off now. That's it. Amazing. Just great. And I gotta, I need to put in radio code. Oh no, you guys are gonna know my radio code right now. I'm just loving the interior of this car. It's so amazing. It's so beautiful. The interior is like nine out of 10. Uh, sadly, the dashboard is a little bit cracked, cracked but uh, it's only got 147,000 miles. It's nothing for this car, I mean, this thing is amazing. Let's go listen to this uh, amazing M112 engine. Alright guys, we're about to go test drive this car, I'm um, going to let it warm up a little more and then we're going to go test drive it. Uh, the brakes are pretty rusty in the front because the car's been sitting for a year but I want to test drive it and uh, I want to exercise the brakes and all the, all the other stuff. Um, so yeah, we'll see how everything goes and uh, yeah, uh, after that uh, I'm going to do some more repairs, I'm going to go ahead and start working on the rust uh, and then uh, fluid film the rest of the car and uh, we're almost done here. So yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. I'm just happy this baby's back on the road alive. Uh, I've had so many amazing memories with this car. Yeah, I'm gonna really miss you, babe. So the brakes are pretty bad. The brake pedal is pulsating really hard when you press on the brakes. So this will need to be addressed ASAP. Unfortunately, I don't have time to do it today, so I'll have to tell my friend about it. 
Yeah, something is not right. But other than that, I mean, she drives great and shifts amazing, smooth. It's oh my gosh, V6 M112 engine plus 722.6 automatic five-speed trans, best thing in the world. So I'm gonna keep on driving this thing. Maybe I just need to exercise the brakes a little more. I don't know. I'm gonna try to like exercise the brakes, just brake as hard as I can to break that rust off from the front rotors. Hopefully that's gonna get better. But yeah, the pedal is pulsating really hard. Oh, baby. Okay. She's so smooth though, other than that, oh my god. So, I'm looking at these brakes after driving and they don't look the best. They're pretty bad. Mainly it's because of the car sitting and the brakes not being exercised sadly, so it really sucks, but uh, other than that, um, yeah, I might just have to drive a little more, but it will need new brakes in the front for sure. I replaced these like about 50 or 40,000 miles ago. And uh, let's see, the back ones seems like they're all not really grabbing too much, possibly. Hmm. Maybe I'm wrong, but uh, I'll need to figure this out. And let the owner know. Brake pads are still good, probably like about 50% left on the brake pads. Anyways, I'm gonna keep on driving this baby and hopefully the brakes get better and we don't get too much of a pulsation. But uh, it, the brakes will need to be done, at least in the front. The car will come with this uh, beautiful owner's manual and uh, it has all the original stuff. This is not really from this car. I had to buy this separately because this car was missing. I'm really sad because <laughs> whenever people sell these cars they grab the owner's manual and they never sell it with the car. But this car will be coming with this owner's manual. Let's try to take it out. Beautiful. It's got everything in there. Okay. As well as the information about the radio. Really cool stuff. I also fluid filmed the bottom of the doors. I also fluid filmed the underneath of the car, brake lines, fuel lines, floors and everything. 
So this car will be all protected. Also, everything underneath has been fluid filmed and looking great. The spring perch, both spring perches uh, were fluid filmed and protected. All the stuff, control arms, wheel wells. The car's also got new tires. It would be so nice to restore these uh, headlights, but I just don't have time today. So next time when I come back to Chicago, I'll definitely do it. This car is going to look amazing. So after I primered it, painted it, I'm gonna put silicone grease right here for even more protection against rust. Like I said guys, this um, this is not perfect, okay? I will have to come back here and fix it up the right way. Or the owner will have to come back and do this because right now I'm just basically what I'm doing is stopping the rust uh, or slowing it down severely. Okay, here's how this area looks like right now after I reinstalled this. Also, it's, uh, applied silicone paste right there. Okay. Ah, Alright, so we got a full size spare, a jack. And right there is the transmission cooling line that connects to the radiator, the metal one, that will have to be replaced. Well, the car is all wrapped up, ready to go. Those rust spots were uh, wire wheeled, the primer was put on them, and paint, and then I put a uh, silicone paste on all those spots reinstalled all the moldings and everything. The owner is actually here and uh, I'm about to uh, hand her the keys. She's gonna take care of this baby. She loves these W210s. Uh, so I'm just really happy that this car is gonna go to really good hands. Uh, I'm really gonna miss this car, but uh, I'm gonna keep seeing this car. This car is gonna be still part of me. Um, you know, I really, really love this car so much. I'm gonna be uh, uh, missing you. Uh, W210, amazing legendary car. Amazing car, honestly. So, um, yeah, uh, that's kind of the plans. That's what uh, how the things are. Uh, and I already uh, let everything, uh, you know, I already let the owner know about all the issues and uh, things that she needs to uh, take care of and uh, keep in mind about. So, yeah, everything else is good on this car. Uh, and uh, yeah. Um, also, if you guys are interested, um, she also has a YouTube channel. It's going to be down here. You guys can check it out. And she's probably going to be posting videos about this car as well uh, on there. And um, yeah, that's kind of how things are. Everything else is done. And uh, it's already late. All right. Okay, I'm about to hand this amazing key to the new owner. <laughs> you guys will check her YouTube channel out, okay? There you go, okay. Are you excited? So excited. That's amazing, there you go. There you go. Amazing work. Amazing, W210, huh? Yeah, we're gonna go for a test drive really quick, and uh, yeah. She's gonna be enjoying and driving this car. Amazing machine. driving the car right now 
just love the lights of these old school benzes like inside and everything the clusters all this orange and everything orange buttons I love this light yeah. <laughs> oh yeah this is nice it actually lights up the shifter area yeah so cool let's go straight yeah